I spoke with the owner of the home where this all went down. He is also the brother and uncle of the two men involved. Tonight, we are getting our first look at the 19-year-old man who was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. His name is Dean Matu'u. Family members say Matu'u was the nephew of the victim, 36-year-old Frank Capesi. The, two, the pair were at the home, which had a history of having loud parties and arguments. One such argument broke out around 4 a.m. yesterday. But this time, a much different ending. When police arrived, Capesi was unresponsive with stab wounds. He was rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Word spread quickly to family members, including Philo Tu, who did not want to have his face shown. He owns the house in Pearl City and says it wasn't the first time his brother and nephew had an argument fueled by alcohol. Stunned. Couldn't believe it. As a matter of fact, the whole family is taking it very hard. We don't mind the drinking, but when you start getting rowdy, they, they're too violent, really violent. He cries. Tu says he wants to apologize for the noise and violence that went on at his house. Neighbor Frank Bessas says aside from the loud parties, the families did have a good relationship. He says he accepts Tu's apology and offers his condolences to the family. Now, family members are expected to arrive tonight from Samoa to support one another and make funeral arrangements for their family member. Dean Matu's bail is set at $250,000.